Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, yes you are back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do the 300th comic book haul. That's right guys, this has been 6 years in the making. I started my comic book haul series in 2012 and we finally have gotten to episode number 300. It may have been called a little bit different, like the Weekly Hall or Spider Slayer's Hall, whatever it is, but this is the series that I've continued since the very start of my little YouTube career over the years. And let me just tell you guys that I got two bags full of stuff here and I can't even hold it in my hands. So, if you're not familiar with the series, this is the series where each and every week I share with you guys the comic books and other stuff I get at the comic book store. So let's get started with the monumental milestone of episode number 300. Alright, let's start with this week's stuff. So, first things first, I wound up getting this uh, venomized issue at number one uh, type of cardboard poster thing. It's a five issue epic on sale weekly, April 2018, so we get more Venom. And just in case you don't know what's going on with Venom, when you open this up, you get a Web of Venom uh, chart of all the stories that consist around Venom. And when you turn it around upside down, of course it celebrates Venom's 30th anniversary, and it shows you all the trades that are coming out. And yet, in May, there's a classified event that is coming. Not this, something different. We'll see. So that was for free. Decided to pick it up and share it with you guys. Uh, Black Panther starts here. This is the previews guide, so you guys don't care about that, I'm sure. All right, now that that stuff's out of the way, let's get the bag on the floor. I realized, looking back at some of my comic book hauls, I always threw the bag on the floor. I was like, oh, the bag's on the floor. The bag's on the floor. This That's crazy. But anyway, let's keep going. All right. First things first, very light week for the comics. So I picked up some series that I haven't picked up. Well, I probably picked up one series that I haven't picked up in a while. And uh, the first one here was The Flash Annual. This is issue number one. This story um, intrigues me here. As this is a prelude to the Flash War. So this looked quite interesting. And I know the main story doesn't, I think, take place until May. Uh, but nevertheless, this piqued my interest. Light week. Decided to pick it up and see what it's about. So the Flash issue number one or annual number one. Alright, next we have our continuation of Avengers No Surrender. This is issue number 678. This time we have uh, Jane Foster Thor on the cover and her, ha her hammer is being taken from her. So we'll see how this story progresses. I wasn't keen on the last issue, but again, this type of story can change on the dime. It could be great one week and then not so great the following week. It's like uh, the Batman series that was the weekly series where sometimes it was good, sometimes it was okay. So this is Avengers No Surrender issue 678. All right, next. We have Jean Grey, issue number 11. Um, I think this is the Phoenix Resurrection tie-in. Uh, so you have to read this, I think, after the fact, if I may be correct in that. So, yeah, I hope so. But you have to read this after the other main story. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this whole thing concludes. Uh, pretty cool cover, as you have Jean Grey front and center there. And uh, this overall has been a wonderful told story. All right, next we have issue number 596 of Invincible Iron Man, uh, still written by Brian Michael Bendis. This is a cool cover, though, as you get to see all the Iron Man armors. Uh, looks like it's attacking, I think it's Ruri. I, I can't tell you who it is on there. But it's an overwhelming amount of Iron Man armors, and I love that shit. I love the marks whatever it's called it's just it's so cool to see all them all at once uh on the page and uh looking forward to seeing what dan slot actually does with the iron man series so yes the invincible iron man issue 596 
Next, it's the Incredible Hulk versus the Mighty Thor in issue number 712. This is pretty reminiscent to Thor Ragnarok. And uh, it'd be interesting to see how this turns out here because Thor wound up getting uh, transported from the other, obviously, dimension to go fight Hulk because he's in, he's like the final battle, I guess, or whatnot to uh, gain their freedom. So this is, I'm looking forward to this one and seeing what's going on. But he doesn't have his hammer. So obviously, he's just like regular, unworthy Thor. So this is how the book opens up in case you guys want to check that out. So um, this has been a good story arc so far. So issue 712 reminds me of Planet Hulk. Next, Old Man Logan, issue number 34. I am behind on this series. I'm two issues back. Uh, this is goes back to one of the weeks where I didn't get a chance to read an issue or two. And Old Man Logan, I've been behind on. I uh, haven't been a fan of the Silver Samurai when I read that first story, the first issue of that story. So maybe that's why I've been weary about reading it. So if I have time, I'll, I'll catch up on this particular story. So this is Old Man Logan, issue number 34. All right, next, The Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, issue number 15. Um, do not feed the freaks. They're in, they're in like a animal cage or whatever it is. They're like part of the circus. Uh, in here, and they're still dealing with the lizard. So this story arc has been going on now for three issues. So uh, we'll see what happens. I, I like the story. The artwork is not my favorite since Stegman left the art. Um, but nevertheless, I love Annie Mae in this book, and I love how Peter's trying to hold on to her little girl. So it's good stuff. So this is issue number 15. All right. The continuation of Orphans X. This is all new Wolverine issue number 30, written by Tom Taylor. Uh, this has been a great uh, series. Laura is awesome. I love her costume. I love the emotion that Tom Taylor puts into her. Doc Dawkins been in this book as well. Um, it, it's funny that you have Honey Badger uh, in here as well as... Uh, uh, Laura's sidekick. So there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So all new Wolverine issue number 30. All right. Let's see what's next. Next is a book that I wasn't going to pick up, but I decided to pick it up anyway. Uh, this is the silencer issue number one. Um, and the only reason why I picked this up, and I said this when I did my live show on, uh, on frontline live is I wasn't going to really try these series out, but when I have a light week like this where I only had like eight comics to pick up, I was like, ah, let me try it. And I feel like I'm not a huge fan of John Ramuda Jr.'s artwork, but this type of book, it would work because this character's never been drawn in any other way. So that's when I can appreciate John Ramuda's artwork is with these new characters. So when you open it up, it looks kind of cool. Uh, you know, you're familiar with his artwork and this opens up with like some weird poster in here. I don't even know what's going on in here. So I don't know. It looked quite, it looked a little interesting and reminded me of Kick-Ass. You know, that's every time I see Ramuda Jr.'s artwork, it always reminds me of Kick-Ass. So I don't know. We'll see where this particular book goes. And uh, yeah, this is issue one of The Silencer. Next, the conclusion to Phoenix Resurrection. Uh, this is issue number five. This is that uh, variance cover. Um, I thought it looked cool. Love Jean's red hair floating in the air and whatnot in the background. Here it has a big X in the back. Uh, this series, I, I'm speechless with it. It's been so good. So well written. I just cannot wait to see what the conclusion will be like. All right. This week's comics, complete. Now we go on in the main stuff this bag is double bag it's got some weight behind it what's inside you won't know until i'll show you all right so here we go it's not only bagged once but it's double bagged here we go i can't even unwrap it dude it's so heavy look at all this stuff all right, first things first, got some trades, cheap price, $7.99. We got 
the Amazing Spider-Man Mark of the Tarantula. Um, can't beat the price on it. Like I said, originally a $30 trade. Um, it collects Amazing Spider-Man uh, from 234 to 237 and the annual of number 16. So can't pass it up. Always a sucker for my good old webhead. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to that one. Next I have... The X-Men versus Avengers slash the Fantastic Four. Uh, so this looks cool. And this collects Fantastic Four versus the X-Men 1 through 4. Fantastic Four number 28. X-Men versus the Avengers number 1 through 4. And X-Men number 9. Uh, it says, is there justice for mutant kind? And uh, this book uh, was $25 as well. So like I said... $6.99, right? I mean, shit, you can't beat that price. Next, Spider-Man, the next chapter. This is uh, volume one, and this covers Peter Parker. Uh, I think it covers Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man. It covers a lot of books, and uh, this book registered trade for $40, and again, $8.99. So definitely excited about that. Next, I wound up getting What If Classic. So this is from the original What If Comics trade. Got this for $6.99. The deal on this, the price on this is originally goes for $30. And this is collecting What If issues number 40 through 42, 44 through 47, uh, number 43, and I think that is it. So... I love these with what if titles. I have quite a few of them, but to have them in trade is even better. So that's a great deal as well. Um, next, wind up getting the Blackest Night trade. I do not have this trade. They were having a 25% off at another comic book store that I went to. Um, obviously, this book is like $30 or something like that. And it went for 10 bucks minus 25% off of that. And Blackest Night, man, one of my favorite all-time stories. I obviously have it in single issues, but not in trade form. So very excited about that one. Now, I got some single issues here. All right. So first things first. Uh, wound up getting the new X-Men issue number 20. This is the variant edition. Uh, this is when Laura just first bursted onto the scene. So this issue has some value behind it. Uh, it's a beautiful looking cover. Um, oh, my, is it Pat Tan? or I forgot his first name. But it is really nice looking cover. And uh, so totally excited to have this. Especially when this goes back, I think, from 2008 or 2009 when this book was actually made. Uh, so speaking of books, I wound up getting this Spectacular Spider-Man Issue number 139. This is the uh, Tombstone's Origin. Uh, very classic-like cover here um, with just a villain in the forefront and you have people just lying on the ground. What makes it good for me, though, is just a blank white background. I really like that. Um, it just shows his power uh, over these people. So really awesome cover here. Uh, cool issue to have. Not worth all that much, but I don't have this issue. So excited for it. All right, next, another back issue uh, that I wound up getting is the Fantastic Four, uh, issue number 200. This was actually a lenticular cover in Marvel Legacy, and I wound up getting the real issue here. Uh, so milestone issue for the Fantastic Four, uh, happy to have it. It's not in the best shape. I want to say it's like a 6.0 grade, uh, but nevertheless, cool issue to have. And I'm um, happy, to, happy to read, you know, have, happy to have it, hopefully to read it someday soon. All right, next, a awesome uh, book here as we get to see issue number 366. Uh, this is um, of Batman. So 366 of Batman. This is called The Joker is Wild. And this is the first appearance of Jason Todd as Robin. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool issue to have. Um, 
he's been in the book already, but the first time he wears the Robin costume. So really excited to have this one. And then last but not least, my favorite book that I picked up for this 300th comic book haul goes to Giant Size Spider-Man. This is issue number four. This is the fourth appearance of the Punisher. Fourth appearance ever. And back then, you know, fourth appearance of a pretty, you know, major character like the Punisher is really awesome. Now, this book is not in mint condition. However, I would say it's in good condition. The one issue that it has is it has a, a bent ear, you know, dog ear on this cover. And it's got a little split. On the, on the spine cover from here to here. But when you open up the book, the pages are white. They're clean. Uh, they're not yellow or musty or anything like that. So it's a really a pretty good graded issue. Uh, I would love to get this um, C CGC graded. Uh, really excited to have this book. If this book was in mint condition, it values at $250. So awesome. Just a great comic to have in your comic book collection so there you guys have it there is the 300th comic book haul and hopefully you guys enjoyed it it was a blast making it and uh, i can't believe i've been doing youtube this long but it's crazy going back and seeing those old videos but again guys if you stuck around from the beginning from the middle or just hopping on now thank you so much for watching uh, this channel doesn't succeed without your support. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And in the comments below, tell me which books you got for this week. If you got anything different or new, whatever the case is, I want to hear it. So again, guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Hopefully do another 300 more. Take care, guys. Bye.